A woman in Indonesia who shared an e-commerce app with her sister was denied a small business loan based on her sibling's bad debts. And a mother in Rwanda who lent her cell phone to her teenage daughter was disqualified from financial support because of her child's digital footprint. Why were these women denied financial access? Because an algorithm used imperfect digital data to evaluate their financial status. Algorithms are mathematical recipes, ranging from the simple to the complex. They tell stories about people, but these stories are only a tiny piece of the whole, a single chapter from a long book. They can't see a person within the context of their society, their environment, or their non-digital history. When we use digital technology, we don't always consider how our online digital behavior can impact our real life story and our future. There are many benefits to digitalizing financial services, including faster loan approvals and wider access to social protection payments. It can also increase efficiency and minimize human bias. But the use of algorithms in digitalization can put customers at risk of algorithmic bias. The Center for Financial Inclusion, CFI, is looking into these risks and identifying possible solutions. For example, in emerging markets like Rwanda and Indonesia, CFI's research found that many people are not aware of how their digital behavior is monitored, who their data is shared with, and how it may affect their economic opportunities. In Rwanda, most survey respondents felt it was inappropriate for lenders to use information about their airtime balance, utility payments, social media activity, and even their phone models to assess their credit worthiness. Research in Indonesia found that consumers often aren't clear about the meaning of the terms and conditions when signing up for apps, and they don't know how to protect their data. While many governments are implementing data protection laws to help shield people from harm, more needs to be done to ensure data privacy is built into the design of financial products and services. To start, CFI recommends that financial service providers ensure their data science teams are more aware of the obstacles faced by marginalized consumers. This collaboration can be incentivized with the help of impact investors and donors. By driving strong consumer awareness campaigns around data ecosystems, governments and other stakeholders can help consumers make more informed digital decisions. CFI also recommends that governments and financial technology experts work together to better regulate the fintech industry and improve their understanding of high-stakes algorithms. Through research and collaboration between all stakeholders, we can develop more inclusive digital finance solutions so that mothers in Rwanda, entrepreneurs in Indonesia, and people all over the world have a fairer chance at directing their own life stories.